Adeus. In today's world, disruption and changes are everywhere. We're living in a time where ideas and innovation are driving businesses, and jobs may be diminishing as computers become more advanced. But what is disruption, and is it a good thing? To find out the answer, I turned to the leading expert in the field and CEO of Sea Change International, Jay Salmon. We sat down at the C-Suite Conference in Boston to define disruption and the key factors all disruptive companies have in common. Plus, Jay outlined the three tactics every company needs to adapt before they die. What is different today than it was back then? I mean, you've been through it in a number of decades, and I mean, you're at Universal, EMI, you started UVU, you were president U of UVU. Yeah, UVU, for those that don't know, is, is if you have a 14-year-old, it's Skype for, for teens. It's yeah. a, I was head of the number one app used by teens. The major difference was you used to, as a big brand, be able to use blunt force trauma. Meaning, you could spend billions of dollars and get that message out and just saturate, okay? And, and we did business the way we wanted people to right. do business with us. I mean, we forced them to 800, I called it 800 numbers and some sadistic Right, but what, guy whatever the message was, if there was anybody with a counter message, you could drown it out, yeah. okay? If you look at the presidential campaign, they're not spending on television like before. Right. It is who is winning social media, and I had a, a company. Or media. <laughs> but it's social media that, that yeah. is where, where, they're, where they're winning. And, and four years ago, I wrote a white paper saying that this would happen and had four presidential candidates as, as clients uh, because you can now customize your message to each individual. You know who that individual is before they raise their hand and say who they are. And if you think this is changing, your billboards now in real time, your digital billboards, can know who's driving based on what's in the cars, and change the messaging to, so we're going to Minority Report. But why do you think that's different? You think social media is the, is the oh, thing? Oh, social media, absolutely. Because yeah. what social media does is allows everyone to have an equal voice. Mm -hmm. And we don't get our news filtered or gathered by an individual. You know, it's not Walter Cronkite saying this is the way it is. It's our peer group filtering like-minded stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting misinformation, you're surrounding yourself with other people getting misinformation. What, what is a disruptor? Is it a pain in the ass in the company? A lot of people get disruption and innovation confused. So mm -hmm. my, my classic example is uh, back from you know, the Bronze Age, we figured out how to make knives and then longer swords. And you know, kingdoms and kings were you know, all sword fighting, broadswords, all kinds of stuff. And then there's that scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones on the streets of Cairo. That's, that's great. The, the big Arab with the scimitar comes out, and then he just pulls out Smith & Wesson and goes, boom. That's disruption. It's a change where you never go back. Nobody's talking about swords anymore, mm -hmm. okay? The same thing with businesses. Um, Kodak in 1975 invented Wait, the- keep bringing up Kodak well, all the time? It's a, it's a, it was a great example. They yeah. invented the digital camera, yeah. but it didn't have the profit margin of film. Right, correct. So whoever was assigned to the digital camera was assigned to the wasteland of, we're never gonna fund you. Right. Now you're seeing that it is so easy to come up with a change, and you can have a global market very quickly. Social is a cheaper way of marketing, and you need to change your mindset, and you had some great speakers about this, but first of all, you have to get over the fear of failure. Mm -hmm. um, failing is the only way to become successful. So the difference between failing and failure, failing is figuring out what doesn't work, you know? Our, our symbol of genius is the light bulb, right? Uh, Edison was, uh, I found 10,000 ways that it didn't Did, work. Yeah, it didn't work. Right, and then? But it was 10,000 ways to make a better light right. bulb. And so. when you look at, you know, People like Walt Disney or, or, or Heinz or any of these big brand names that we know, they all went bankrupt before they became billion dollar companies. The failure is throwing in the towel and saying, you know, I give up. This has been an episode of Executive Perspective with Jeffrey Hazlett, and I've been joined with Jay Samet, CEO of Sea Change International and the best selling book, Disrupt You.